I never thought I would join a cult. I had always considered myself a rational person, immune to manipulation and brainwashing. But when I met the members of the Enlightened Path cult, everything changed. It started innocently enough. I was walking through the park when I noticed a group of people meditating under a tree. I had always been interested in mindfulness and spirituality, so I approached them and asked if I could join in. They welcomed me with open arms and invited me to their next meeting. At first, everything seemed normal. We would meditate, discuss philosophy, and share our thoughts and experiences. But then, things started to get strange. The leader of the group, a charismatic man named Jacob, began to speak more and more about the enlightened path and the need to follow it at all costs. He claimed that he had access to secret knowledge that could only be revealed to those who were truly committed. I was intrigued, but also a little wary. Something about Jacob's intense gaze and the way he spoke in riddles made me feel uneasy. But the other members of the group seemed to hang on his every word, and I didn't want to be the odd one out. As the weeks went on, the meetings became more intense. We would meditate for hours at a time, and Jacob would speak for what seemed like eternity, weaving together complex metaphors and allegories that left me feeling dizzy and disoriented. I started to have vivid dreams about him and I would wake up feeling like he was speaking to me directly. It wasn't until I missed a meeting that I realized how deep I had gotten. I received a call from one of the members urging me to come back and warning me that I was risking my spiritual progress by staying away. I tried to make excuses, but the more I resisted, the more they pushed. Eventually, I caved. I went back to the meetings even more committed than before. I started to donate money to the group, and I even invited my friends to join. But as time went on, the cult became more controlling. They told us who we could talk to, where we could go, and even what we could eat. And still, I couldn't leave. It wasn't until the day that Jacob asked me to cut ties with my family and devote my entire life to the cult that I finally snapped out of it. I realized that I had been manipulated and brainwashed, and I knew that I needed to get out before it was too late. Leaving the cult was one of the hardest things I've ever done. It took months of therapy.